Hello everyone, my name is Michael Young and welcome back to Factorio using the C-Block mod pack. So we just ch switched up our um, acid factory a little bit to add some load balancing so that we can continue producing base mineral oil and lubricant, although we're not doing very well with the lubricant. It's a residual gas problem, it's purely a residual gas problem. In fact, I'm trying to figure out better ways of getting residual gas. We might. I don't know. We're starting producing um, oil again, so we should be getting more residual gas in time. But the whole plan I had originally of using uh, residual gas to get better ratios of base mineral oil that didn't work. We're not going to. We're not. We just don't have enough base uh, residual gas to also produce lubricant. Although maybe we won't need that much lubricant, I don't know. We don't we don't use it for many things. Everything I have planned for using it right now is um, temporary stuff. Things I will only need in smaller quantities, like a few thousand, not like ten thousand. Anyway, but yeah, it just it, it annoys me that we're burning all of the sulfuric acid because I know sulfuric acid we're gonna need a ton of. But right now we're doing that for the chance to get more oil going on over there. Anyway, it'll all work itself out eventually when, um, why is this going so slowly? It's fine. I guess like I could steal solid fuel from over there if I want. Maybe I should, maybe I should. Like maybe I'll supply this half of the rail station from this Tianan array. It feels like we have a lot of, um, a lot of charcoal here that's not being used. Well, actually, never mind. We, yeah, we have a lot of charcoal that's not being used. That we don't have a lot of steam that's not being used. We're not producing anywhere near as much solid fuel as I thought we were going to be. So, but never mind. Never mind. Our first step before making our next station, and actually using the sulfuric acid, is to start making some blue. I want some blue... Um, I want to make the next next uh, station I make uh, ha be run on blue belts. I don't know if I, that's needed, but I don't want to limit myself if it's not. So we're already making red here. I don't need a lot of red. I don't need a lot of blue. We'll probably just drop some in. I think will be the best way to do that. Right here, perhaps. And it needs lubricant, is the issue. And right here. It's 80. God. Even that's too much, probably. Yeah. Where are my barreling pumps? Right there. I should do that instead. Steal from there.
it's an empty, empty lubricant. You don't even have a lot. It's gonna go about, go through really quickly. It's 20 lubricant per single express belt. Wow, that's a lot of that's a lot of lubricant needed. We're gonna need more. So we are previously make, using lubricant down here to make the the bots. In fact, let's switch this over. Well, it's kind of kind of too late right now. Why don't we have? We don't have brass. I was thinking I should switch them over to logistics at some point. But for now, this is fine. We need the bots like more concrete. Alright, uh... I was thinking I'd just steal some lube from here, where we have been accumulating it. Although really this is this is limited by base mineral oil, which we have already over there. So I should just steal some residual gas and bring it over there. That makes more sense. Uh, I'll leave it a little bit. How am I getting residual gas? I mean, it feels like there should be a better way. I can turn ethane into residual gas. And we're throwing away ethane right now. In a steam cracker. And butane. That's a thought. Like, I don't actually need the, uh, the benzene or anything yet. It's a way to get rubber. Which we could just make from resin. Eventually, a way to get uh, plastic and just fossil resin. Uh, I don't want to deal with all the synthetic stuff, it's annoying. We're getting rid of the saline there. Okay. Oh, this is going strong at least. This kind of makes me think I should just go ahead and put some uh, some uh, fuel cells on this also. Maybe I'll do that. We'll put solid fuel on one side and like actual fuel cells on the other. Um, charcoal something or other? Pellets. Yeah, pellets. Just so our farms aren't sitting idle. Alright. 
Let's uh, put one of these right here. You're making residual. Just to get the lube going, start filling this up a bit. Oh, it does seem to be filling up by itself, though. Maybe I'm being overly concerned. But I don't need to be. I'm starting to use up the base mineral oil, though. At some point, I'm gonna need to start getting rid of hydrofluoric acid because it's full and I need more sulfuric. But we can deal with that later. Let's start thinking about this. The whole point of this is that we're going to need. Wow, that goes through it fast. We might want to come back and get more. We're going to do the geode processing, the washing for geodes. And we need an array that's going to produce a ton of this, just a ton of it. Let's see. So I'd worked out before that if you were to that each of these let's see if it's, at max the blues and the reds are producing 1.5 geodes per per time per um, 5 minutes of crafting or per 2.2 seconds. So, five divided by what's the speed of this? Two point two five. So it's point six seven five per, which means maybe a blue would be overkill. Probably won't bother with the blue for the geodes themselves. But once they're crushed, well, let's figure out what we're saying. So we're saying that one of these can hold 40 items per second. Let's split it in half just so we don't have to worry about lanes. So this can, su this can support the output of 29 washing plants. That's not a bad, um, a bad number to aim for might be a bit more than we can deal with in practice. Anyway. Well wanna this is the issue that some the way they crush is is weird. We wanna make sure that, that we have the colors set together so that the dust they produce is um the dust and, and uh, crushed is not messed up. Like purple is awesome. Look at that. Purple it turns into two and three, whereas yellow is two and one. We don't get very much purple. Three and two cyan is good too. Also, actually, these are all good. This whole set of them are great. Yellow is the worst one. <laughs> Let's just label this. Super blue belt. In practice, we won't do that, but it's just good to have a, a figure to know what we can do. Uh, let's just. So a red is 26, 13, and a and this is seven. Really, it's it's that divided by 
uh, 3 times 2 and that divided by 3. Right? No, that's wrong. <laughs> So this is washing plants per red, and this is per yellow. And I'm hoping we'll do more than 10, but this might be a nice, um, a nice stepping point, like right there at 20. Good pivot or something. So, but uh, yeah, we'll see about that. All of the reds produce 1.5 crushed well let's see per cycle everything here is per cycle and all the, what I really care about is all the uh, per second numbers uh, we worked out a cycle is 5 divided by 2.5 so I want this would be the dust per second. This would be the crushed per second. Equals that divided by um, 5 divided by 2.25. And this would be very similar. Why is that in a different format? This is an aerial and that's not weird. <laughs> I don't know. It does weird things. All right, so processing all of the blues that come out of a single cycle of a washing per geodes is going to produce 0.675 crush per second. Processing all of the geodes is going to, from a single cycle, will produce, don't be helpful, please, some... Keep getting the wrong keyboard shortcut. There's two each. So all of the dust, if we were to put it all in one blue belt, that would be 40. Right, we said 40. Out of lube already. 40 items per second. So the blue belt can only support 15 total washing plants. Blet. But if we just double it, if we have two blue belts, then we can get the full 30 if we wanted. I don't know, it could be we have a nice little 14. Like I could see doing a 14 as a uh, nice divider. Let's go get some more lubricant. Hey, it looks like our bots are done with all the concrete. We should lay out some more. Yeah, now we have tons of lubricant here. Wow. 
I didn't think it would fill up this quickly. It's the base mineral oil that's the, uh, the issue now. We're still throwing away thousands and thousands of sulfuric acid. But this is filling up slowly, the hydrofluoric. This is emptying, not so quickly. It was, uh, what? It was 1200 to begin with? And it's still at about a thousand. In an hour or so. Definitely seems like the Tianan is supporting all these fuel cells. Oh well, never mind. I might have overestimated how much I would need to get rid of for these. Because that's not accumulating at all. Why isn't this doing anything? It's out of brass again, isn't it? How does that look over here? I can't tell because I haven't been near it. Let's go ahead and um, fill that up, that corner. Bots busy. That'll fill up soon, and then we can devote the rest of it to express belts. We're gonna want some splitters, I'm sure. But we can make them later. Maybe. Well, let's do it now. I don't think I have any. I have to make some.
That needs a lot of gears. This doesn't actually, this doesn't need that many. Need more green circuits. Let me make that happen. Okay, let's go back to planning this out. So, in practice, we probably won't be putting all of them on blue belts, a uh, uh, single blue belt. So we could actually do more if we need. We'll work it out. Is there point? Is there much point in uh, looking here yet, or should we just go and uh, do? I need, do I need to go and lay it out? That's what I'm questioning before actually. Um, figuring out the math. <clears throat> so we worked out at one point the ratio of uh, washing plants to support a single, uh, well actually I can just see it really obviously. 40 heavy mud water every 5 seconds. And this produces 200 heavy mud water every, every 5 seconds. So, we can make 5 per. That's pretty obvious. Alright. Um, I guess let's go and start laying it out. I'm hesitating. I have to admit, I'm waffling a little bit because it's a major effort. And I'm trying to... I don't want to have to redo everything. But, we'll see. I should start making more of the... Uh, ore crushers. It's brass and aluminium, which we can make. We have no acid gas, that's weird. We were having to flare some of it away before. Because we had too much of it. What's the deal? I guess now that we have this, we just burn through it real fast. Yeah, these are filling up. Thousands and thousands of... of I think we've like lost an entire one of these. Yeah. Lubricant's filling up nicely, though. Well, somewhat. Okay. This is going to be one step over from here. We're going to need to make some water to uh, get our washing plants working. I'm probably going to move it, so let's just actually lay it out. This is like how I think it's going to go. So we're washing for geodes. And I want each cutter geode to end up somewhere else. We're going to have an input from this side, well actually that won't matter, we can get that, make that happen no matter what. How many, we're getting four different, uh, six different types, there are five on, five on this side. I'm just trying to think of how to make this look good. Dare we use the red inserters, the long-handed? I mean, two in the two on this side, two above, and two below are, are pretty obvious way of doing it. Like,
like that. Uh, actually, no, it's not going to work because we can't do a filter long-handed. That's not going to work. Hmm. Uh, how could we do that? We could put it even further out, I suppose. So if it were like this... Uh, I need filters. Filter inserters. Are they delivering me stuff? They should be delivering me stuff. Don't get me things. I really should make some more logistic bots. Oh well. We'll, we'll. we'll deal with that some other time. Right now I'm just thinking about the layout. We'll make the we'll figure out how much pattern we can use. Looks like this is falling behind now. Um, how do I fix that? So, I'll put priority left. No, that's right. There. Now they'll only come over here if this is all backed up. Just so that we don't have this not working. Like, fuel oil should not be accumulated in there. Solid fuel should be, um, well... That's why it's it's not work. It's not going because the solid fuel is what's giving the issue here. But that's fine. That's fine. It'll work itself out. Okay. Let's get back to this. I'm gonna need so many of these filters. Put them right there. Uh, it's kind of complicated by the water. How are we going to make that happen? We're going to need to do a back one. Because this is going to have an underground right there. So we'll need a... No, that's right. And it would be like this. There. <clears throat> and very similar on top.
and like this. This is making it, we're gonna need so many more of these. But, we'll, but we're gonna make it red on this side, we said. <clears throat> and we'll have to make sure we can do it the opposite direction, too. So, like, if there's a layout like this. That's a little annoying. We'll put this like here for symmetry. I suppose. We can get away with it because we're not putting the water on that side. But because this is so close, we need to have this out one further. It might not work on this side then. Hmm. Let's see. This is so messy looking. Let's just kind of leave it like this. In practice, we're probably gonna gonna have like, well, I don't know. I'm not sure. Let's just leave our options open. Okay, we'll need a parallel one right there. I wonder if we should rotate it like that, um, just so it kind of has the reverse structure. I think we will. It's going to make it really annoying to pipe, but we'll, we'll make it work. Maybe we don't need to. No, we better, we, we better should. Well, we can get away with it, maybe. Let's see. works on this side. You know, it occurred to me, we're going to need another set down here for this group. Which is fine. That's fine. Do I like this? I don't know. I'm a little hesitant. It seems like it's adding a lot of complexity without much gain. If we... But... but how would we do it otherwise? We could use a filter to like output uh, onto a belt and then use a long inserter. Let's leave this like this and let's like move down a little bit and see if we can get a better pattern. So. So what I'm thinking is we would have like little intermediate chests. And we'll have filters that populate the chests. And then we'll get the chests onto the right belts. We wouldn't even need filters if, if we say it only accepts certain things. But we might as well use filters. We can do that, right? We can say... No, we can't. Never mind. 
we're gonna have to do it like this. Then it makes it kind of taller is the issue. It's still going to be two separate. We're just avoiding that intermediate, um, that intermediate blank spot, which we could just put a chest there, and that would accomplish the same thing. That's what we're doing, <clears throat> and be more compact. Never mind, that was a bad idea. Do I really want to have lots of these? I don't know. I'm skeptical. Like, this was the whole point of why we did the, uh, why, why we were using the splitters to do the filtering before. But the splitters filtering didn't work very well. The splitters filtering, um, ended up getting backed up because there was, like, too much blue in the system. And we ended up having to do lines that go around the filtering and, uh, turn into a mess. But this is not less than a, less of a mess than the other one was. Like, I don't want to have every one of these. Maybe we can do them in pairs. Like, have a bank right here. And then we'd have to have another cross set. It's not a bad setup. It looks a little ugly, but it's, it's just gonna it's because there's gonna have to be um, double rows here. But we could extend it sideways to quite a while. How, how far could we do it? We said we calculated that already. We said if we were going to put everything on a yellow, uh, we could have nine plants on a single yellow. If we were to make everything red, we could have 19. Right now, we're, we have a setup for eight. We could easily extend that to 16. That might be it. That might be our... We have a bank of 16 that are going to look like this. And they'll all be able to fit on two... Yeah, on, on reds. And then we'll... Fill, after we crush them, we'll have... Uh, we'll have... Uh, well, we said we're going to have 18. And this is more. So we'll have to run two blue belts. Are in practice probably just two red belts. Maybe we should. Maybe we, we um went a bit crazy thinking we would do this all on a. Actually, wait a minute. This was assuming half utilization. We could use yellow probably, because this would be thirteen point three three. So yeah, we could fit nineteen on a single yellow belt. That seems like a bad idea. Let's just use reds, and then double reds for the outputs. So let's stop bothering with all the moving the lubricant around up north. I think I think that's gonna work out. Let's get this pattern laid out. Mm, how am I gonna do this? It's the kind of thing where it probably would work really well to have our bots do it.
it's off by one. Like that. Oh, let's just do it ourselves. It makes it easier for me to think about. We didn't even finish this up. Why did I put these here? Instead of right in the corner. There was a reason, but I don't remember what it was. I remember being, oh yeah, it's because, I guess because I didn't want to insert, I couldn't have an empty spot right there. I probably should have a little chest in each of these empty spots. Like a one space chest. Just so that um, we get the stack and sure bonus, or the bonus for, for doing that. If that made any sense at all. The uh, entity to entity stack, stack inserting, or regular inserting, really. Uh, this will not need to be that complicated because there won't be anything above it. That's not in the right spot, but it could be. Yeah, we didn't we didn't get that right somehow. We did something wrong. <clears throat> Interesting. I guess I could have done it that way. No, it's only to cross. Yeah, we're stuck with that. Let's just leave that in there. It just seems weird that we did the, the crossing one on the right side there, but on the left side here. In fact, I don't like that. Let's switch it. We said we do it in red. Should I just go and switch to red belts now? Maybe. I like how the belts actually sound a little different. This one's quieter. Alright, so it's, I guess we'll leave that off. I think it works. I think it should work. 
We'll have to actually set up the filters at some point. And these will need to output over here also. On both of these sides. Will they? Yeah. This this will need to be duplicated on both sides. I guess. I don't know. This is this is more complicated than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> Maybe I should have just gone ahead with the uh, the electrolyzers and burning slag than dealing with all this mess. This one is fully outputted. It's outputting everywhere it needs to be. And this down here will mimic the top of this. Just like this mimics right here, except for these chests. I'm still not convinced this is working. We're going to have to figure it out. But we'll give it a try at least. Actually, there's not going to be anything south of here. will be stuff over here. We're gonna have a whole other bank. Or I suppose we could run it over here. That would have the same effect. But we'll make the pattern so that it, it assumes there'll be something over here. This will be the exact same. Oh, out of reds. I'll have to go get some more. I'm feeling more confident in this. I'm thinking this is going to work out. Why is my science going so slowly now? It's a, a gold problem. Not one I can help. Looks like we might be having ferric chloride issues because of the lack of iron. Because we have so much copper sitting in this 
tin bin up here. Alright. And we're gonna need more splitters, like I said. So, bracing circuits. that go. I'm going to need more um, filter inserts. Well, this is all nicely backed up now. Hey, the bots are finished with the, uh, well, they're finishing up with the ceramic, or not ceramic, the, uh, concrete. Over there. Alright, this will look like the same, exact same as over here. So, we'll just place these out first. Or will they? No, they'll look they'll, they'll look mirrored to over there. Yeah. Okay. Which is, this is gonna be complicated to figure that out when we do the um when we actually set the filters to the right things. So this will be like that. Yeah, I guess so. And similarly, these will be mirrored. Uh, it's all the sides, though. I'm just kind of assuming the piping is going to work out. I think it will. Might not be a great assumption, but I think it'll work. That's fine, right? Because it's mirrored, so that's the equivalent of that one. It's this one that needs to go across. I think that's right. It's kind of cool looking. I like it. The flashing lights are a little distracting. We'll get rid of them in a moment. And again, it'll be mirrored on this side, or it won't be the same. We did the same, we did, uh, we did, we made it not mirrored on this side, we did duplicate. Which again, it's going to be really complicated to make sure we're doing it all right. Hmm. But I'll go with that. No, here it's going to have to be mirrored. No, it won't. We can, we can duplicate. Uh, I kind of want to change this to make it mirror. Just to kind of fit the pattern. So I think that's what we'll do. We'll change this up. Okay, and we hop over the back ones now. There. 
now this this matches what's going on up there, which makes it easier to think about. So we can just match what's going on right here for this one. Sorry, I do apologize. I know this is one of the more finicky episodes. Well, I mean, relatively. <laughs> They're all pretty finicky, but this is this is one that's much more so. It feels like we're providing a ton of logistics to not very many buildings. I mean, this is only eight, and we're giving, we're creating six red belt, or eight red belts for it. Well, uh, we still need to do the two sides. And get these. I like how they're just failing to get some stupid bots. Okay, um, probably because of how I'm splitting these up, I could have been doing this all in yellow. In fact, should I switch back to that? I kind of don't want to. It would take a long time to do. We'll just stick with what we got. But, uh, piping can handle that, or at least the water pipes. There's no mud from this, right? Right. Good. figure out how to get that in later. We might, I'm thinking we might like have an array to the north. That would deal with that. I'll have to figure out how to... They're not connected. Like all... These are four individual lines. In practice, we're going to have two red lines for each cutter, right? So, like, if this is red, we're going to have half of a red, a red, and then another half of a red. We're going to have yellow, a, oh, a half a yellow, yellow, and then another half a yellow. If we, if we put these next to each other, we're going to have two yellows, and then another half a yellow. We're like, must be moving just in and out of that range. Yeah. Probably very frustrating for our bots. <laughs> Do I want to go with this? I know if I choose this, it's going to stick for a long time. It's gonna like stick around. This is gonna be how we do things for the next like hundred hours. So it does deserve some thought, but I think this is decent. I'm I'm liking it. Do I like that? I kind of don't. No. We'll make the up and down take precedence always. So we'll need this to be one further out, which won't work. Um, can we change that? We can make that work. Just we can just make this like that. In fact, we could have done the same thing for red here. Don't know what I was thinking. Never mind. 
Um, so we'll have a line like this, and one like that. But this outputs too. And it, it'll keep going up. These will all hop it. Uh, this won't need to continue all the way. There'll be like one that goes down and one that doesn't. We'll make the bottom one go all the way across. Or should we make them all the same or should, like, or mirrored? Hmm. Let's make them all the same. So this is the one that's gonna short. Which means this these don't need that, they can just go straight across. The top one. The one that does that. This whole thing's gonna need to be shifted over side so we can fit one over here. Or I guess we could put it on this side. Maybe I should do it that way. Then I don't even need this. That works. I think it works. We'll have to do the same thing over here. And these will have to hop. So one starts here. I don't know, I have this worry that I'm just being totally stupid making all this work. Like, I could just have them all output onto two belts, and that will suffice. But, I don't know. It makes me makes me feel like I'm, I'm getting it right doing it this way. I don't know. I'm having doubts and second thoughts and all that. I'm gonna, okay, I'm going to stop here. I'm going to think on this. I'm going to think on it, and we'll come back, and we'll either finish it up or we'll replace it with something else. So thank you, everyone, for watching, for bearing with me through this really long episode where I mostly did not do very much. Until next time, thank you.